This is the long-awaited revision to fluidity. How's it going guys? Yomitosh here, back with another video. And like I just said, this is a long-awaited revision to fluidity. And this tweak packs a lot more stability and a lot more features than fluidity did. And make sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know in the comments if you're going to move to this. And as you can just see, that is the notification. It basically looks like the iPhone 10. And it's a really cool tweak. So we're just going to check out some features right now. So the first feature I'm going to show you is this. And this is basically the iPad dock. And as you're already aware, it's basically like fluidity. So it has all the fluidity gestures as you have probably been accustomed to if you happen to have used fluidity. But yeah, there's this cool animation where the dock slides down. I don't believe that was on fluidity. I don't remember it being on fluidity, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is the iPad dock. It's like the floating dock, which is pretty much about the same thing on the iPhone 10 as well. You still get your control center up there. But as you saw just a moment ago, the notifications don't pop out from the top as it did with Fluidity. Now it pops out like where the iPhone 10 actually pops out notifications from. So that's pretty cool. And it has a lot more settings to configure and the name has just been given away. It's called Little X. So yeah, this is what Little X can do. So just like Fluidity, it could change the status bar to the iPhone 10 status bar and also the home bar. You could also add that so you can disable that if you don't want to see the home bar but then it's got some other things so like i've just mentioned the ipad dock but there's also a larger keyboard so you're well aware that the iphone 10 has like this extra space which really doesn't do anything waste of space but yeah you you can get that waste of space if you want it so it allows you to like quick trigger your emojis and go back to your um keyboard but then this De definitely takes too much space on my SE like I probably have about half of the screen taken up with the keyboard and yeah you also get the um, text sp speak to text speech speech to text I'm surprised it's actually getting that right Siri is not very good at those stuff and uh, yeah so that's pretty cool you can do that if you want you if you have the 6s that'll probably even look better than it does on my SE and there's also one more it's called it's um the reduce icon roll by one i don't particularly like this but if you notice when you have the ipad dock on it squeezes all the text in the middle of the apps so that might be something you don't want to have so you can reduce it by one roll or like i like to do is just disable the ipad dock completely so i'm just going to respring quickly And just before I go back into my home screen, you can just take a look at the lock screen as well. You get the 3D touch um, buttons. So as you can probably tell, I don't have 3D touch on my SE. So this is peekaboo. If you want to see more tweaks like this, make sure to check out my Jailbreak Wednesdays. I make a video on all the new tweaks that are out on Electra every Wednesday. So make sure to check that out. And going back into my home screen, there you have it. This is more like the fluidity I was used to and this is what I like. The um, um, texts are not squished together anymore. They're quite loose and free so that's pretty good. And it just feels a lot better. My screen is small like I said before. So it's nicer for me. Personally you might not like this. But then the most important configuration about Little X is you can do it per app basis and this is by far the best about this tweak and surpasses fluidity by a mile i'm not sure if it's the same people that work that worked on this that worked on fluidity but this tweak is awesome the repo will be in the description it has it actually has like a bunch of other tweaks that like work together i think but i'm not very sure about that i'm still checking those tweaks out so you'll probably see them in the next jailbreak wednesdays but yeah, you can disable whatever you want for an individual app. So I'll just click on Amazon here and you can disable, you can make it have a large keyboard. You can basically disable the whole little X completely from Amazon. So you have it as your normal iOS device. You can disable the home bar. So this is pretty cool. So maybe like, for example, I, ha I think um, Instagram, 
Instagram? Yeah, I think about Instagram. So it sometimes cuts into the top. So I'm trying to press some buttons up there, but then they're shifted up into this area where it's supposed to be the status bar. And then you can't exactly get to those buttons up there. I'm not sure if it's Instagram, so don't quote me on that, but it's one of the apps I've got on my SE. And with this, you can basically just disable the status bar for problems like that and it's solved. So I hope you like this video, this little X tweak, this is godsend. So yeah, make sure to like this video, make sure to comment as well and subscribe. And don't forget to stay tuned to Jailbreak Wednesdays. There are a bunch of videos out there already. So if you're looking for tweaks, just scroll through that Jailbreak tweak playlist and you find some good tweaks there. You might, you might like so many of them. I'm pretty sure you'd like so many of them. And yeah, Yomito Share, see you in the next one. Peace.